Welcome back to Indian Trace. I have something I wanted to share that's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, I pulled select quartz arrowheads. As you can see that, that's plain. But uh, there's something in common about these in terms of why I selected them. <clears throat> and uh, the video a little while back that... Uh, I think Jonesy did or somebody did where they had a bowl of points and they were just pulling them out and being able to look at them from all sides and then setting them aside really was unique. It just caught my interest in terms of something to share. And since I know snow's hitting a lot of people, I wanted to do something like this with perfect lighting to show you over four years what I have considered my select uh, inch long, roughly, uh, quartz arrowheads. And I'm going to pull some of these out, but I just wanted to preface it with this. Uh, the workmanship of these is outstanding. And only now, only today, every single day I understand it better, do I understand how difficult, and you'll see some of the craftsmanship when we pull it out, how difficult it is, let alone to work this small, uh, to work this kind of material. And then you wonder to yourself, there's no industrial equipment here. Uh, there's no assembly line tools that they could use. They had to use the tools we're looking at. And uh, it's a curiosity how they actually crafted these. And especially after I hear from a lot of you guys who uh, talk about, and we'll get going on this, who talk about how truly hard uh, this quartz material is. This right here is a recent point that found a, a way into my, one of my favorites. I'm just going to make sure that my focus is working with the lighting and not hurry. Just a nice base on it and get these things set up. Just a great point right there. <clears throat> this is an experiment. I don't know how well it will turn out, but uh, I know that quartz is unique in the... Uh, in different regions and uh, its appreciation is is definitely unique I've appreciated it more now because I get a lot of shout outs to how incredibly difficult it is to work this stuff it's, it's getting difficult for me to work my focus so uh, anyway I'm wanting a good exposure so I figured I'd take just a little time here at lunch and uh, and show you what these things are that I set aside as as just some of my best tips that are around the inch range or so. I mean, look at this. This was found at the Bear. Incredible piece. A lot of these, the point speaks for itself. Just great stuff. This is the only piece, as a matter of fact, as I get the focus going on this. This piece that you're looking at, real ground base, unique type of base, is the only piece I found uh, four steps from one another in two pieces. It was broken. Don't know if you'll be able to pick it up in this video. And uh, not there, I mean, it's got just a little chip where it was broken, but I was able to, it was so fresh that I was able just to glue it together. And what a unique point to be able to have. An endure to break like that. One of the first quartz tips I found right here at the Bear. And this is really a video that I'm hoping if it works out, my back is in a bad position here. Here we go. Where I have all the lighting and I can show the nappers out there uh, just how incredible they could work this quartz. Uh, I see a lot of guys in the quartz that they put up out there and they make comments about how awesome it is and how hard it is to work. But uh, And then it makes me thankful because I'm seeing that a lot of the pieces that I found so much personality and so much workmanship uh, comparatively and it just humbles me um, so I want to show some folks out there just what they can do with this kind of material uh, 
before modern age. Just really fun stuff. <sighs> Look at this piece. Of course it's all, I'm not holding it up to the light because it's all completely translucent. And this piece is a great piece. I'm hoping I can get through it. If I can get the right angles to have a unique video where it's winter time and you guys are just out there able to warm up a little bit. Look at these points. And like I said, right in the inch range where uh, I could pull some of the workmanship that I feel is just the most outstanding that I've had in a while. Just go through the pile. Inspiration, of course, comes from that video. And go back in time. Jonesy put a video out where he just had a bowl of points and he was going through them. And I just really enjoyed being able to see them. Like we'd look at our collection and go through it, you know. And as we should, because really this stuff hasn't really been seen that much comparatively uh, for thousands of years. Look at this point, will you? What a great piece of quartz. Just always really stunned about the workmanship on the quartz. Look at this piece. Holy cow, right? That's from Notchville. That speaks for itself. What I'm trying to do is give an angle that uh, you guys who make these things can check out this material and uh, see what they were able to do with quartz. And I know you know in your minds and what have you, but to see it up close and personal is to, is to see that in reality uh, it is well possible. And they were just monsters. At, ma at mastering this material. As I've done before when I did the serrated series. That's a smoker. From B&B Field. Here's a point from Notchville too. And as I said, it is a compartment that uh, are my favorites. Just around an inch. And... After I've heard the report about how just difficult, how hard this material is, uh, these would have been armor-tipped points. Armor-tipped arrows for sure. At lateral darts, whatever you want to call them. But if this material is indeed as hard as many of us know it is, uh, it would have done the job completely perfectly. And it had to because they just made so many uh, and use this material so diligently. What can I say? The points really speak for themselves. This point, uh, <coughs> excuse me, I get my fingers in the way all the time, is a beauty. It's one of my favorites. I found it recently at Stone Mountain. That just carries a type of character that I really like in a point. That'll make you go back out, find some stuff in the winter. Excuse me as I get this warmed up, set up. All right, we have a couple more pieces here and then we'll get through. Look at this piece. From Quiet Winds. A little bifurcated. Now, like I said, when I collected this stuff, um, Geez, uh, some of it some years ago, it just was off my radar as to how difficult it was to work. So I collect it and just take it for granted that, hey, this is what, the, this is what I'm finding here. This is what they use in, in North Carolina. And then when I hear from people who make this stuff and seen how good a job you all do, uh, and then realize that, hey, without modern tools... I don't know if it's picking that up. This is extremely difficult to do. 
Look at the quality of this piece here. Well, I don't know if this is going to come in like I want it to. That's an incredible piece, though. And these two pieces, which have been seen before, are just staggering in terms of workmanship. And Saving History had a video where he was finding some quartz the other day, and he was talking about how hard this material is. Again, I hear that so often, and I'm like, really? Because that's an education to me. Uh, I never considered it because I've seen just how good they can do at making and working with this stuff. Just staggeringly beautiful in terms of workmanship. And I think that you guys who nap are going to see that. Uh, just how much they master this kind of stuff. Here's a well-known point from many, many people have seen this. Even live as I found it. Just a Yadkin to beat all Yadkins. And it's worth seeing again. I mean, I don't mind looking at it again. I'm sure many of you don't. I see it more often than anybody, but just crazy stuff. The workmanship just off the scale. Anyway, enough of all that. Leads for groups like that, which in other times, I mean, I started my groups like that to begin with and then show people. But uh, they can work it. And uh, it just shows me that they were complete masters of this material. You guys who are, who are napping and everything out there, I would appreciate any comments that you share where you really believe you know how they finished these small pieces off. I mean, you use copper bits and modern tools. How do you think they did it as uh, without tools that you use for napping? What, what type of material? Did they use other quartz to finish this off? Uh, I'd really like to know what your thoughts are. Anyway, enough of me talking about these here. I just wanted to share them here in the winter. It's just a slow time, so uh, good time to get a good video of that stuff. I mean, just look at the workmanship on this. My gracious, right? That's a great group. Hope you stay warm and... If you do get to hunt somewhere in this country, I hope you find something. Thanks for tuning in to Indian Trace.